Hey there, and welcome to a, a deep dive. That's, uh, th well, this is going to be exciting. We're going to get fired up for this one. We are tackling the combo of Aries and Ox. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, you've got this bold, unstoppable ram, uh, you know, meeting up with this strong and steady ox. Right. And uh, what happens when these two forces collide? Yeah. Let's just say get ready for a whole lot more than just stubbornness. Oh, absolutely. You're in for a ride with this one. Yeah. Um, we're really talking about the intersection here of Western and Eastern Zodiac. So we've got that fiery Aries energy on the Western side. Right. And then, you know, the grounded, tenacious ox from the Eastern perspective. Okay. Buckle up, because this blend is anything but ordinary. Okay, so we're dealing with a clash of the titans here. Right? Fire versus Earth. We've got Aries ruled by fire, all about passion, taking action, all that good stuff. Right. And then we have the Ox Earth sign, known for practicality and thinking long term. Mm. How does that even work in a person? Yeah. Doesn't that make for a very conflicted individual? Well, you know, it's not so much about conflict as it is about creating a very unique internal dynamic. Okay. Think of it this way. The Aries energy, it's like a powerful engine, you know? Okay. It's always revving to go. Yeah. And the Ox influence, that's like your sturdy chassis and brakes. Oh. That can harness and direct all that power. Interesting. It's less about being internally conflicted and more about this really cool system of checks and balances. Okay, so not just about charging ahead full speed then. Exactly. They still have that Aries fire, that go-getter spirit, but the Ox brings this incredible layer of patience and strategic thinking to the table. It's like they're able to tap into a different kind of drive. Like, one that's less about instant gratification and more about achieving those big long-term goals. Right. They're not afraid of hard work at all, Right. but it's the kind of work that's geared towards building something meaningful, something that lasts. I can see how this combo could lead to some serious success in life. Absolutely. And you know, in fact, our research highlighted a few Aries ox strengths that really stood out to both of us. Yeah. For one thing, these folks crave stability. Yes. So don't be wrong. They're not afraid of a challenge. Right. But they thrive in environments that are structured yeah. and have a clear direction. They need to know what's going on. Chaos. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really their scene. Nope, not at all. You hit the nail on the head. And this need for stability, it ties directly into their communication style. Okay. Aries ox individuals are all about being direct, honest, and finding those practical solutions. Makes sense. They're all about efficiency. This makes them fantastic leaders, fantastic problem solvers. However... Ooh, there's a however coming. There's always a however. Right. While their straightforwardness is admirable, it can sometimes come across as a tad inflexible. Okay. They see the world in a very clear-cut way. Things are either right or wrong, black or white. Right. Now, this can be a huge asset when you're making decisions. Sure. But it's also where that stubborn label tends to stick. Yeah, I can see that. Especially if they're not careful about how they express their opinions. Right, right. Which, you know... That makes a lot of sense. Now, let's talk about relationships, because I think there's this common misconception that Aries Ox individuals are all practicality and no passion when it comes to love. Right. But with that Aries influence in the mix, I have a feeling it takes a lot more than a balanced checkbook to win their heart. Absolutely. Stability is essential for them in a partner, someone they can build a solid foundation with, but never underestimate that Aries fire. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's there. They crave <laughs> that excitement, that spark that keeps the relationship dynamic and fulfilling. Right. It's about finding that balance, really, between security and adventure. And speaking of finding the right match, our sources actually had some very specific pairings when it came to compatibility. Oh, yeah. For all you lovebirds out there, we're talking Taurus with rat, Virgo with snake, and Capricorn with rooster. Wow, okay. It's like a cosmic matchmaking service. It is, it is. But what makes these particular combinations so harmonious with the Aries Ox energy? You know what's so fascinating is that these pairings, they tend to share some core values. Okay. Stability, reliability, that shared focus on building a future together. These aren't just fleeting romances. Right, right. These are combinations that have the potential to go the distance because they're rooted in something much deeper. Okay, so we've got love covered, but what about friendships? Right, right. Our sources highlighted a very intriguing pairing, Pisces and Tiger. Okay. Now, on the surface, that sounds like an odd couple, right? It does, yeah. I mean, you've got the dreamy, intuitive Pisces, and then you've got the bold, courageous tiger. Yeah. How does that dynamic work with an Aries ox? It's all about complementary energies, right? Yeah. Remember, 
Aries Ox individuals are grounded and practical. Yeah. But they can also benefit from a little dose of imagination. Right. A little push outside those comfort zones. That's right. And that's where Pisces and Tiger come in. Okay. Pisces brings that dreamy, intuitive energy yeah. that can help the Aries Ox tap into their creative side okay. and see things from a different perspective. Right. And Tiger. They're all about embracing risks and challenges, yeah. which can inspire the Aries Ox to step outside their comfort zone right. and embrace new adventures. That's so cool. Yeah. I love how it's not about being exactly the same, right? but finding those friends who compliment you. Exactly. And challenge you in equal measure. Absolutely. Now, let's, uh, let's shift gears a little bit. Okay. And uh, talk shop for a bit. It's no surprise, given their incredible work ethic, that Aries Ox individuals right. often gravitate towards careers where they can really roll up their sleeves and yeah. you know, make things happen. Right. But it's got to be more than just hard work for them. Right. I mean, with all that fire and ambition, mm -hmm. there's got to be a deeper meaning they're searching for. Absolutely. You're right. It's not just about clocking in and out for these folks. Right. They need to feel a sense of purpose in their work, mm -hmm. a sense that they're making a tangible contribution. Yeah. Remember how we talked about how they crave stability and structure? Yes. That translates into their career aspirations as well. Okay. They thrive in roles where they can build something concrete. Right. Something lasting. Okay. They want to see those fruits of their labor to know that their efforts have made a real difference. Okay, so we're talking about careers that offer both stability and the opportunity to make a real impact. Yeah. What kind of fields or roles do you think really allow the Aries Ox to shine? This is where that fascinating mix of Aries and Ox really comes into play. Okay. Think leadership positions, for example. Yeah. The Aries drive gives them that initiative and confidence to take charge. Right. While that ox's practicality and level-headedness right. make them excellent decision makers and strategists, right. they're not afraid to take the reins and guide others towards a common goal. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be all about being at the very top. Okay. Any role that allows them to really utilize those problem-solving skills, yeah. their organizational abilities, and their knack for creating efficient systems, that's where you'll find them truly thriving. You know, hearing all this makes me wonder, could I handle working with an Aries Ox? Right. What would it take for someone to really thrive on a team with them, knowing what we now know about their personality? That's a great question. Yeah. And one I'm sure a lot of our listeners are pondering right now. Right. The key is to understand and appreciate their very direct communication style. Okay. Remember, they value honesty and efficiency. Right. So if you're working with an Aries Ox, yeah. don't beat around the bush. Right. Be upfront with your ideas and your concerns. Okay. But also be prepared to back up your thoughts with logic and a well-defined plan. So no emotional appeals then. Well, Straight to the facts and figures. Exactly. Don't expect them to get swept up in emotional pleas or vague ideas. Oh. Stick to the point, come prepared with solutions, right. and you will earn their respect and their trust. Okay. Now, of course, every Aries ox is an individual, sure. so flexibility and adaptability are still important. Right. But understanding their core values and communication style yeah. is a great starting point for building that successful working relationship. Solid advice. Thank you. Now, no deep dive into a Zodiac combo would be complete without looking at some real-life examples. Right. And let me tell you, the list of famous Aries Ox individuals is incredibly diverse. It is? We've got iconic figures like Eddie Murphy. Oh, yeah. The king of comedy. Yes. Known for his quick wit and boundless energy. Absolutely. And then on a completely different note, we have Laurie Page. Yes. Yeah. The mastermind behind Google. That's right. Talk about a blend of fiery innovation and grounded strategy. Right. He's a perfect example of how these two seemingly opposite energies can combine to create something truly extraordinary. It's amazing. And we can't forget about influential figures like Colin Powell. Yes. A leader who definitely sparked his fair share of debate throughout his career. Right. It seems that Aries Ox determination can manifest in many different ways. It really can. Some more controversial than others. It's true. And you know, speaking of Larry Page, yeah. there's this fascinating story about him. What's that? That I think perfectly illustrates the Aries Ox approach to life. Oh, really? Did you know that back when he was a student at Stanford, okay. he actually built a working inkjet printer what? out of Legos. 
out of Legos. Wow. That's Legos. That's incredible. That's amazing. I mean, you really can't get more innovative, A&D resourceful than that. No, you can't. That's, it's like to me. It's the perfect embodiment of that Aries ingenuity. Right. That drive to create something new uh -huh. combined with the Ox's practicality and resourcefulness. Yes. He saw a challenge had limited resources, yeah. and found a way to make it happen. Exactly. That's classic Aries Ox. It really is. Okay, that is so on brand for an Aries Ox. I love it. It's like they see the world as this giant Lego set yeah. just waiting for them to build something incredible. It is. And, you know, that brings us to a really important point about Aries Ox individuals. Watch that. They're not just about achieving their own goals. Right. They often have this deep-seated desire to leave their mark on the world to create something lasting and meaningful. Yeah. They want their efforts to have this ripple effect, you know. Right. Beyond their own personal sphere. I see. I see. Yeah. Which I think goes back to what we were discussing earlier about that ox influence, grounding their fiery nature. Exactly. It's not just about fleeting success. It's about building a legacy that extends beyond their own lifetime. Exactly. But we've been focusing a lot on the serious side of the Aries ox. Yeah. What about their compatibility with the elements? Any insights there? You're right. It's not all work and no play for the Aries Ox. Right. When it comes to elemental harmony, uh, you know, remember their core. Aries fire, Ox earth. Right. Interestingly enough, they tend to find a really natural kinship with water signs. Wait, really? Yeah. That seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? It does. Fire and water. Right. You'd think so, but think about it this way. Okay. Water nourishes the earth. Okay. And earth contains fire. Right. There's this underlying balance and support system there. Okay. Water signs, with their emotional depth and intuition, they can really help the Aries ox tap into a side of themselves they may not always acknowledge. So it's like water signs bring that emotional intelligence to the table. That's it. Which complements the Aries Ox's more practical, action-oriented approach. Precisely. It's all about finding that yin and yang within their relationships. Right. A balance of energies that allows them to grow and evolve. Right. Of course, it's never quite as simple as just sun signs. Sure. Individual charts and all their complexities come into play. Right. But this gives you a starting point, at least to think about those surprising connections. I'm starting to realize that understanding the Aries Ox is all about embracing those seeming contradictions. Yeah. Those unexpected pairings that just work. It's true. And as we kind of wrap up this deep dive here, right. I think the main takeaway is that these insights are really just starting points. Okay. They're meant to spark your curiosity. Yeah. To make you look at the people in your life, maybe even yourself, with fresh eyes. Totally. Yeah. This has definitely given me a whole new perspective on the Aries Ox individuals in my life. Yeah. I'm looking at their so-called stubbornness in a whole new light now. Oh, yeah. It's not just about being difficult or anything. Right. It's about having that courage of their convictions. Right. And the tenacity to see things through even when the going gets tough. And that's the beauty of exploring these different Zodiac combinations, right? It, yeah. It, it's not about putting people in boxes. Right. It's about understanding those energies at play. Right. And how they can manifest in unique and powerful ways. So true. And who knows? Maybe this deep dive has inspired you to learn more about someone special in your life. Yeah. Or even yourself. Maybe you've even discovered a hidden layer of Aries Ox energy within you. Maybe so. If so, we'd love to hear about it. Until then, keep exploring those cosmic connections, and remember, there's always more to discover.